Hello and welcome to this uh, quick market recap for Monday, November 10, 2014. Um, in this quick recap, I wanted to show um, some of the market breadth indicators that I follow at MasterChefStrading.com. One of them is called a ITBM, Intermediate Term Breadth Momentum Oscillator. And um, on StockCharts.com, you can look it up with this symbol, exclamation point ITBM or SPX. It's a derivative of McClellan breadth oscillator and also there is explanation of how it's calculated, etc. But the point of the matter is um, today was interesting because um, this ITBM oscillator for S&P 500 actually exceeded level uh, of 200 which is very high. In the past, there was only three can there was only three times in the past that I was able to find that ITBM was that high. And uh, on all of those or other two occasions, this is the third occasion that this ITBM was this high. And in the past uh, two occasions, eventually this led to significant market decline declines. And uh, I'm going to show you some two of those examples now. So now, we're, uh, you know, this is a chart that I've shown before. We're bullish, and uh, you know, we are at new highs, and we're overbought by many uh, indicators. Uh, this is just a regular price momentum oscillator, but you can do MACD or uh, commodity channel index, and it will show you that we're in extremely overbought levels. However, from the market breadth perspective, we are even more overbought. In other words, many more, it's a very broadly, uh, broad rally. <coughs> so let me show you what happened in the past. So this is a chart from uh, 2009, or rather, I'm sorry, this is from uh, 2010. <clears throat> so in uh, March, March 18, 2010, this uh, indicator ITBM, Intermediate Term Price Momentum Oscillator, exceeded 200. And this is a really very rare event. So this rally was really strong. <clears throat> and as you can see, even though it was it exceeded that. The market continued higher for a little while longer. It gained about 4% from this point on. However, eventually, this is what's called a flash crash of 2010, and it just collapsed. <clears throat> I'm not saying that this is what's going to happen now, but um, and once again, this is a breadth, breadth oscillator. In other words, how many stocks are participating in this advance? And this is extremely broad participation. And now let's take a look at another example which happened in um, 2013 on May 22nd. Right here where ITBM exceeded 200 and then literally next day the market went down about what five to six percent? It it correct, corrected over the several several weeks <coughs> ahead. Now let me show you what's happening today, and uh, this is from November 10 today, 2014. The ITBM is at 207 right now. So it is extremely overbought, um, and this is a very strong advance right here. And we're at new highs. So, um, what I was trying to get at this point is that I would be very cautious about adding any new uh, long positions to your portfolio, and potentially I would look into taking profits um, at this point. So, uh, once again, the, you could look at decision point intermediate term breast momentum oscillator. Um, it's right here in, in chart school and uh, you can go to um, 
let's see where is it technical indicators and overlay right there and then look for um, Oh, sorry, I meant to say uh, market indicators right here. Market indicators, and you could find it right there. ITBM. <coughs> you can read about about how it works. But uh, in any case, uh, thanks for listening and have a great trading week.